it's all about this. And this happens when you are early on, and it's, it's going to go to rapid fire uh, because nobody has adopted it yet. And it could go global, it's going to go down slow. And if you can't get that, you know, your, your startups are going to be mediocre at best, or may not be mediocre. So I think if somebody is incumbent in there, is doing it, don't, don't worry about it, do something, maybe in a variation of it. Uh, and then if other competition is there, it's fine. I mean, that's what all sports is about. I mean, if basketball, there's only one team, then it won't be fun. There are so many good teams, and yeah, competition is, is fun. My question is that uh, when you have so much belief in one thing and you make it your mission, at what time you decide that somebody give you an offer for acquisition and you sell it to somebody else and give up your mission? So you how do you decide on that? So if you're giving up the mission, it means you didn't have a mission. So if it's a mission, you would kind of in your acquisition process, you will assess, for instance, Elastic had three offers from very large companies. We didn't go out in fact, it had offered very first year of building the company from a very large company. At that time, it felt like that if we got, and this was back in end of 2014, uh, very generous offer. And we were only, at that, I think, 25 people, maybe, if that, maybe 30. Um, if at that time, if we said yes, because monetarily it was like unbelievable, they haven't raised, even raised one round of funding. Uh, and if we gave up, gave up at that time, the mission would be gone because what we thought we were going to build, we were not done. Clearly not done. There were a lot more things. We built a framework, on the framework there were multiple apps, we only had one app, and the framework was not ready, and then the whole the UX was changing, and it was like in the middle of it, it this offer came just from nowhere. And uh, we didn't take it. Part of the reason I didn't take it is that I knew that where we stand today, uh, this large companies were totally destroyed because they won't understand what we could build because it's not done as yet. And it's not going to go well. Uh, although they were willing to pay for it. So we kept going. And in 2015, towards the end of it, it was very clear the market was on fire. Uh, and now it's even more. And uh, three companies popped up from almost, you know, one was a partner who was selling a product. Uh, and, you know, one we starting partnership discussions and one no partnership. We literally, we had declined to one company that you know we never work with you because we thought they were copy ideas, and they were they had all the means to copy and to compete. Um, now it was very obvious that we need a vehicle to actually go global fast because if you want to preserve this mission, you need actually a vehicle which can go and take this market fast. This Blue Coat had 15,000 customers. They are 100 percent of banks in the U.S. They serve 100 percent of the banks, 86 percent of Fortune 500, and, and great numbers. So it was very clear that if we push, put this technology in this go-to-market platform, it's going to go. Basically, in, in months it's going to go, and it's happening. So you didn't give up a mission. You actually put your mission on a, on a rocket. And at the end, if you remember, the right side is not about it's just you. It's about is the world going to benefit from it, or is it going to disappear? The world is going to benefit from it. And, and for the reason you make your decision like that. Well, I appreciate that very much. Thank you so much. I think in your discussions, uh, if you have anything, uh, pull me in. Uh, I'll be hanging out here. Um, and it's, thank you so much for the invitation. Uh, it's a uh, looking forward to the discussion. Thank you so much, uh, Han. So as I was uh, saying earlier, we have uh, six breakout sessions right here. Hardware focused, IoT, essentially that kind of area is right here. Software is right there. Consumer technology is right there. Social media in the back. Consumer non-tech right here, right here. And in the back we have high-tech services. So if you...